What are you trying to accomplish tonight? I'm just pushing myself. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. Mike Tyson, a name synonymous with boxing greatness, is pushing his body to the limit, preparing for an anticipated fight at the age of 57. The world is watching closely, wondering whether the former heavyweight champion can still deliver the devastating power that made him a legend in the ring. On the other side, we have Jake Paul, a social media sensation and rising boxer who's been steadily climbing the ranks, determined to make a name for himself. With less than 50 days to go, the gloves are on, and both fighters are gearing up for what promises to be one of the most talked about boxing events in recent history. But why is Mike Tyson, at 57, stepping back into the ring after a 15-year hiatus? For Tyson, it's not just about himself, he's fighting for others, driven by a sense of humanitarian purpose. In his own words, I'm fighting for other people's future. But make no mistake, the same Tyson who once ruled the heavyweight division hasn't lost his edge. The determination is still there. He's already shed 100 pounds, proving that discipline at 54 is just as achievable as it was in his prime. Tyson admits that he's comfortable being uncomfortable, and that he's rekindled a ferocity that many thought had disappeared. Reflecting on his comeback, Tyson says he's ready to surprise the world again. The challenge of returning to the ring at this age isn't lost on him, but he's focused and determined to showcase that age is just a number. He's been training relentlessly, and those close to him, including Joe Rogan, acknowledge that Tyson is still a monster in the ring. Rogan, a well-known fight commentator, admits he's concerned about what might happen if Tyson lands one of his signature blows on Jake Paul. In the opposite corner, Jake Paul isn't a novice anymore. His steady rise through the boxing ranks has made him a force to be reckoned with, though many still question whether he has what it takes to face someone like Tyson. Paul's youth and drive may give him an edge, but he's stepping into the ring with a living legend, a fighter who's knocked out some of the best in history. For Paul, this fight is an opportunity to solidify his status in the boxing world. But with Tyson's power still very much alive, Paul's journey to the top may not be as straightforward as he thinks. Analysts are split. While some, like Roy Jones Jr., believe Tyson's experience and skill will overwhelm Paul, others, like Adam Burke, think Paul's youth and recent fight activity give him an advantage. Jones, who fought Tyson in 2020 in an exhibition match, knows firsthand the kind of power Tyson still possesses, even in his late 50s. It's a young lion versus an old lion, Jones remarks, but he still thinks Tyson will be a little bit too much for Paul. Burke, on the other hand, acknowledges that Tyson's long break from serious competition could put him at a disadvantage. One of the most interesting aspects of this fight is the psychological pressure weighing on Jake Paul. Teddy Atlas, a respected boxing analyst, points out that Paul has more to lose than Tyson. While Tyson's legacy is firmly established, Paul is still building his. A loss to a 57-year-old former champion could damage Paul's reputation, while a win would still come with caveats given Tyson's age. Atlas warns that underestimating Tyson could be a dangerous mistake reminding everyone that one of the last things to leave a fighter is their power. And Tyson, despite his age, still has that knockout power in spades. Even past opponents of Tyson have weighed in. Evander Holyfield, who famously fought Tyson twice, says that Jake Paul's strategy will be critical. Holyfield believes that if Paul can stay close and use his speed, he has a chance. But if he tries to keep his distance, Tyson will catch him and it might be game over. Holyfield also questions whether Paul can take a punch from Tyson, noting that he's never seen Paul get hit by someone with Tyson's power. Tyson Fury, the current WBC heavyweight champion, has also spoken out, acknowledging the spectacle of the event. Fury notes that even though he's not involved in the fight, he can appreciate its scale, calling it a massive event on a large scale. The training footage coming out of Tyson's camp shows a man who is fully focused on the task ahead. 
In a recent video, Tyson is seen delivering powerful punches, reminiscent of his prime, sparking excitement among fans who believe he could pull off a monumental upset. In stark contrast, Jake Paul has been focusing more on building hype for the fight, showing off his physique in a comically exaggerated bodysuit and pretending to lift fake weights in social media clips. While Paul's antics might draw attention, they also raise questions about his focus and preparation for such a high-stakes match. As the fight date approaches, analysts continue to study every angle of the matchup. Some, like DJ Vlad, are betting on the younger fighter, confident that Paul's youth and drive will give him the upper hand. Others, like Lennox Lewis, caution against underestimating Tyson, noting that Tyson's power could still be dangerous, even at 57. Lewis, a former heavyweight champion himself, knows how unpredictable boxing can be, especially when someone as formidable as Tyson is involved. He believes that while Paul may have earned recognition for his skills, Tyson's experience and power make this a far more dangerous fight than many realize. At the end of the day, this fight is more than just a clash between two fighters. It's a battle between eras, philosophies, and legacies. Tyson, driven by a desire to help others and prove that he still has what it takes, is preparing to remind the world of his legendary knockout power. Paul, eager to cement his place in boxing history, is facing the biggest challenge of his career. The stakes couldn't be higher. Will Tyson, defying his age, land a knockout blow that silences his critics and reminds the world why he's one of the greatest boxers of all time? Or will Jake Paul, with his youth and relentless ambition, pull off a victory that shocks the boxing world and elevates him to new heights? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the world will be watching when these two fighters step into the ring. So, who do you think will emerge victorious, the seasoned giant Mike Tyson or the bold challenger Jake Paul? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Mike Tyson, a name synonymous with boxing greatness, is pushing his body to the limit, preparing for an anticipated fight at the age of 57. The world is watching closely, wondering whether the former heavyweight champion can still deliver the devastating power that made him a legend in the ring. On the other side, we have Jake Paul, a social media sensation and rising boxer who's been steadily climbing the ranks, determined to make a name for himself. With less than 50 days to go, the gloves are on, and both fighters are gearing up for what promises to be one of the most talked about boxing events in recent history. But why is Mike Tyson, at 57, stepping back into the ring after a 15-year hiatus? For Tyson, it's not just about himself, he's fighting for others, driven by a sense of humanitarian purpose. In his own words, I'm fighting for other people's future. But make no mistake, the same Tyson who once ruled the heavyweight division hasn't lost his edge. The determination is still there. He's already shed 100 pounds, proving that discipline at 54 is just as achievable as it was in his prime. Tyson admits that he's comfortable being uncomfortable, and that he's rekindled a ferocity that many thought had disappeared. Reflect